everybody. Welcome to the very first Everything Horrible podcast. I know I just kind of sprung this out on you. And if you're listening, that's great. If you're not, then uh, then you're not. But uh, I kind of wanted to start this and talk about a few things that I wanted to talk about recently. And I felt like the YouTube channel just didn't offer a way to make a video about these things. So I figured I would try to do this podcast. And I don't know if if this is going to be a regular thing or if it's going to be something, um, you know, I just do every so often. It just kind of depends. Um, I just really wanted to talk about a few things on my list and uh, get them, you know, out in the open and talk about them because... I don't know, I really want to talk about them. So, you know, just figured we would do that. Um, you know, if you're listening to this right now, I put this first episode on YouTube. Um, listen, I know this isn't the way you're supposed to do this. I know you're not supposed to put <laughs> a podcast on YouTube, although there are podcasters who who do that. And that's fine. Um, but I felt like with the audience I have now is mostly YouTubers. So I, let's not make them click on a link and then go to a website and then try downloading it or trying to get, you know, to iTunes. Just Let's just try this on YouTube for now. Let's see what happens. And we'll take it from there. Um, but like I said, I don't know if this is going to be a, a scheduled thing. This just might be something that I put out when I've got some topics lined up. And right now I've got some topics lined up and they don't necessarily fit the format of the channel. Uh, if you watch the channel, uh, you know that the main show is making fun of bad horror movies. I mean, really bad horror movies. And the things that I'm going to talk about aren't necessarily going to be bad so you know I felt like it didn't really fit that format as well and you know I've got other things on there as well I just you know what I just want to do a podcast god damn it I just I want to talk about things and and I want you to listen if you're even listening um so yeah if you're watching this on YouTube there is a description and I've kind of put the schedule of the episode in the description so you know what I'm going to talk about and I'll post up the same thing up on Facebook and you know other places other social media things but I really I was really wanting to talk about um, a few things and you know the if, if, if you're looking at the schedule right now you can see that the first thing the number one thing I want to talk about is Stranger Things 2 and Comic Con was just a couple of weekends ago, I think. And it always seems that when Comic Con is happening, we are flooded with just tons and tons of trailers. And it's a good thing because we get to see what's coming out. And of course, Stranger Things 2 is right there with a great trailer. And. You know, Stranger Things, the first season, I was totally in love with. Um, I watched the trailer, and I have a, a PlayStation 4. And for those of you who don't have a PlayStation 4, when you load up the Netflix app, and this has been going on for quite some time, but when you load up that Netflix app, um, it will just automatically start playing a trailer to one of their new shows. I usually skip it. But when Stranger Things 1, I guess we can call it now, um, when it first came out, 
it uh, they did that trailer thing. I turned on my PS4 and I loaded up Netflix and it was I started playing the music and I was like, whoa, what is this? So I started watching it, uh, the trailer, and uh, knew that as soon as it was going to come out, I was going to watch it, and I binge watched it, and I loved it. Um, and so you know, it kind of came out of nowhere to me, and I think it kind of was that way for most of the audience. I don't think anybody was saying, "Oh man, there's this new Stranger Things coming out. I can't wait for it to come out." It kind of caught everybody by surprise. So, uh, so Stranger Things two, which is they're calling this new season, isn't catching anybody by surprise. And you're going to have some haters, and that comes with any series, with anything, just with anything. Goddamn haters. Um, Stranger Things two. So Comic Con, they roll out the Stranger Things two trailer. I watch it. It's great. I, it's totally nothing but hype and I can't wait till October rolls around but I always get a kick out of reading the comments uh, especially Facebook comments after um, you know after a trailer is released and I'm referring to uh, bloodydisgusting.com they do a pretty good job of, of feeding their audience with content that is useful to them. Um, pretty good. There are some clickbait articles, and if you're if you're listening to this and you are a follower of Bloody Disgusting, you know what I'm talking about. But um, they do a, they do a pretty good job of uh, bringing some good content to the people, and of course you're not gonna let the Stranger Things too trailer slip through your fingers so i read some of the comments on the facebook posts that they had put up and the first post the number one thing uh and i think i don't remember it's been a little while since the trailer came out but i think i had my comments as most liked so the most liked comment is the top comment and the top comment and i'm paraphrasing here um was okay we get it your show takes place in the 80s <laughs> and i had to laugh at that i had, really had to laugh at that because um and we'll get to the the trailer for stranger things 2 here in just a moment but the first one the first season of Stranger Things, they weren't beating you over the fucking head with the 80s. This is not a show that does that. And it was funny to me to read that comment, like, as if we had been watching the most cheesiest 80s show ever. Like, okay, we get it. And if you watch the Stranger Things 2 trailer, it's first opening scene is, you know, kind of like a build up and then it goes right to Dragon's Lair 2, which was big in the 80s. That was an arcade game with uh, full motion a uh, animation. Um, it's really it, it's, it's a really cool game. It's hard as fuck, but it's really cool. But it, it was uh, it was a pop culture thing at the time. And to believe that these kids wouldn't play it is just i mean we can't be that naive i mean they're in that time uh, they're gonna they're their kids they're gonna go to the arcade and they're gonna play dragon's lair <clears throat> they're going to listen to michael jackson's thriller uh you know the first season i think and i could be wrong correct me uh, i think takes place in 83 so if this one takes place in 84 the you know the writers had done such a good job of keeping you know especially in the first season you know songs that came out at that time uh you know are played in the in the show they didn't go they didn't give it in the show and say hey this show takes place in the eight in the 80s and not give it a year and just throw everything at us that was in the 80s they said hey this takes place in 1983 
And these are the pop culture things that happened in 1983. And like I said, even with those songs and uh, you know pop culture things that were in the show, they're not beating us over the head with it. So I had to laugh at that comment. Um, if you haven't seen the Stranger Things 2 trailer, you should definitely go check it out and watch it. It's like I said, it's total hype. So it might be a little too much hype. You might get a little bit uh, too much hype for this <laughs> new season, but I thought it was great. I think those kids are awesome. And that was another comment. Yeah. Um, it says something like, oh my God, these kids are so annoying or, you know, you know, I can't stand these kids and the kids are the best thing about the show. So, I mean, you have Netflix, you have the power to watch a hundred other shows. I just don't see, um, the point in taking the time to tell everyone that you think this sh show sucks. And that's something that's really changing with today with, you know, so much content and movies and music. Uh, it's almost like people want an award to say, hey, that show sucks. I don't like it. You know, um, there's always somebody out there that's going to hate it. But it's almost like, well, guess what? I don't fucking like it. You know what? Who cares? And that's a big thing with like Game of Thrones right now. Like, you know, it's like at the point of this recording, there's like three or four episodes out right now. And people are just like, you know what? Fuck that show. I don't like it. Who cares? There are people that do. Shush. Let people enjoy things. There's a great cartoon, or I'm sorry, a comic that shows that. And it has a guy a guy watching uh, football, and some guy comes up, and he's like, oh, hey, how's your little sports ball game thing doing? And he grabs his lips, and he squeezes them together, and he says, shh, let people enjoy things. And I think we should do that. I think we should just let people enjoy things, no matter how much we don't like it. And I'm all for opinions. I love listening to opinions and I love debating about shows. And that's just one of, you know, one of the most fun things to do to me, for me. And, but you gotta have a point and, you know, just, just don't say you don't like it because everybody else does. I mean, that's silly. The next thing I wanted to talk about, uh, a pretty big deal the it trailer was released oh i should say another it trailer and boy holy cow do we get to see pennywise a lot in this one we get to see the kids we get to see pennywise we get to see a lot of the characters in this trailer and i was really surprised i think yeah, we even see or hear pennywise talk and to me i thought wow i, I really thought they were gonna save that for the movie but no then that's okay uh that this is fine and, and i'm not i'm not a person that likes remakes but i feel like this almost isn't a remake because the first one you know made for television tv type movie uh you know this one's gonna be um, what they say is rated a hard r so um you know, I feel like it's a completely different movie and I really want to see where it goes. But this trailer, this, I guess you could say it's second trailer. Maybe it's its full trailer. You know, the, the first one was probably considered a teaser. But the second trailer, I guess let's just call it the trailer. The one that came out recently um, shows Pennywise a lot. But the one thing that I, I did see that it showed was a lot of, um, and, and this is in the trailer, and this these couldn't this these th these scenes might not even be in the movie, but there was a lot of jump scares in the trailer um, of Pennywise popping out and popping his head out to like a drain and and you know all a few things like that, and I I really hope the movie doesn't rely on that because what I've seen of Pennywise and when I hear him, I feel like he's scary enough uh, to where those jump scares aren't needed. 
and I don't want to compare, but you know, I guess I am. But the trailer for, um, or I'm sorry, um, yeah, I, I guess what I should say is that the original didn't rely on jump scares. It relied on the performance of Tim Curry as Pennywise, and that's what I want the new It to rely on is the performance of Pennywise and not him, you know, jumping at the screen with his scary clown makeup, which I'm sure would be scary, but like I said, the, the original didn't rely on that. Um, but the trailer, uh, the style looks so good. Um, I'm really psyched for it. I don't know. I just, I, I, I guess I'm a little skept more skeptical now that they've showed a little bit more. I'm still gonna go see it, and I'm, my, my thinking is that I will enjoy it. Um, but you know, I don't know. Who knows? But you should definitely check out that trailer if you haven't already. Uh, a lot of cool images in there, and um, yeah. She just check it out. And the uh, the last thing that I wanted to talk about, um, and this is going to probably be real quick, uh, the Walking Dead Season 8 trailer. And I know most of these things on this first episode are trailers. And uh, I'm sorry for that, but you know, I just want to see how this is going to go, folks. Um, again with the hate for this it's so ridiculous and i feel like if you get an award for not liking stranger things i feel like the people who hate the walking dead show i feel like they they think that they deserve like purple hearts and like medal of honors of just like you know like the highest medal for hating this show um <laughs> Again, I read some of the comments, and I don't remember them, but I read some of the comments for the Walking Dead Season 8 trailer on the Bloody Disgusting page. And most of them were like, this fucking show, man, I hate it so much. And it's like, what are they even doing? And, you know, I said how much of a waste of time that is. What really boggles me is when you read a comment that says, I stopped watching this show after the fourth season. And I was just like... The fourth season, I mean, we're, this is going to be season eight. You stopped watching it the fourth, se the fourth season. You have no opinion. You don't even watch the show anymore. To waste your time to tell somebody that, it's fucking ridiculous. Uh, as you can tell, I like the show, um, but there was a time where I stopped watching it, and it wasn't because I didn't like it. I. I cut the cord, and when I say I cut the cord, I got rid of my, my dish network and my cable service, so I couldn't just watch it on television. And, you know, I have Netflix, and I just, I don't know, I just stopped watching it, and um, I, I didn't want to wait a full season before I got to watch the latest season on Netflix so I just kind of wrote it off and you know and I have no idea why because when once I started it back up again I fell in love and I binge watched all the way up to last season uh, to where Negan comes in and, and then I just would watch it on um, on iTunes or Amazon or whatever service. So I, I, I do pay for a season pass for this show because I really enjoy it. And um, I think it's worth it. I really do. And I know there's probably some haters listening to it um, and listening to this right now saying, you know, you go to hell. I hate Walking Dead. But ah, I don't know. I think it's really cool. And I'm going to keep watching it. But the season eight trailer came out. And wow. Um, from what I understand, this entire season is just going to be 
the first half of it is just going to be a battle. It's going to be a full-on battle. And then the second half of the season is going to be, I guess, maybe probably some lead-in to uh, maybe a new villain. Um, I am a huge Negan fan. I fell in love with this character as soon as he came on the screen. And I, I, I loved him as a villain. And oh, he's so scary. <laughs> and some of you listening to this right now are probably like, he's not scary. He sucks. This is dumb. The show's dumb. Well, guess what? The show's not for you. And that's completely fine. But ever since he's walked on the screen, I just, oh, man, I think uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan is a great actor. And I had been in the dark with this show. Um, like I said, until I started watching it again. And I didn't know he was coming into the show. So in that episode, the end of the season, the sixth or seventh, yes, the sixth season, he comes in. He walks out of, out of that camper. I had no idea. So I was really surprised. And, you know, I've liked um, a lot of his other you know movies and shows that he's been in, you know, Supernatural and stuff like that. I think he's a very good actor. So I was really surprised he was going to be on this show. And then I read a little bit more about uh, who Negan was and what he did after I saw that episode. I'm like, oh, my God, I, you know, I can't wait for this you know season seven and it comes out and see even season seven and he's even more scary and he's just doing these things and then you start liking him and it's just wow it, he just does a, a, an excellent performance of that character and i don't read the graphic novel so i don't know what is in store for him and i like that so um i'm, I'm interested to see what's going to happen in this season eight i think season eight is going to be probably one of its best seasons and if you haven't seen the trailer they end it with like an old rick he is laying in bed and there's like a cane and he's got gray hair and he's got a gray beard and i have no idea what that is about but um there was a lot of comments about it saying that, uh, oh, God, thank God this is going to be the end. Like, finally, Rick's dead. Like, people really don't like Rick. I found that out, too. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it's really up in the air. And, you know, I don't know what is going to happen. But um, I think Andrew Lincoln, the guy, I think that's his name, it plays uh, Rick. I think he's one of the best actors in television. If you hate the show... I mean, if you really hate it, if you can find something good about it, it's Andrew Lincoln. And I, I think his acting chops are excellent. He is so good in this show and showing emotion and just just straight out out acting everybody in the entire show. It's unbelievable. You have to check it out have to get back into the walking dead people it's not that bad it's pretty good if you're listening to this and you like the walking dead which is probably a minority uh, please comment say something i don't know i don't know you probably already stopped listening <laughs> Uh, but yes, I'm going to keep these podcasts short. Those are the uh, few things that I wanted to talk about. But I wanted to do this little uh, looking ahead on about um, what I might talk about in a future podcast. But uh, there's going to be a new Chucky movie, as I'm sure most of you already knew, know. The Cult or Cult of Chucky. They have a trailer out for that. You should watch that. It looks great. I thought the last Chucky, and I'm probably in the minority again, I thought it was great. Uh, yes, there's some bad CGI, uh, but there's also some really great things about that that really brought it back to its roots. And I really hope that Cult of Chucky can build off of that. They're going to have to find a sweet spot with this movie because it's going to have probably, and I say probably because I don't know, 
but from what the trailer showed there could possibly be and, and maybe they did show it it's been a while since i've seen it the tiffany doll and uh, people are speculating that glenn might come back and as far as i'm concerned curse that was the last one i'm trying to think of uh I, it's the other one with Glenn. I, that one's... I've done a review on it. I can't even remember the damn name of it. It's fucking garbage. That movie is garbage. If you're going to put Glenn... And, or Glenda... <laughs> in this... Movie... You've got to walk the fine line here. And make sure that it doesn't step over and become... Just... You know... Pure shit. So... um yeah, Cold of Chucky's coming out. Uh, well, I'll, like I said, I'll talk about that a little bit more once it gets closer to release because I think it's going to be a video on demand and straight to Blu-ray, which is fine by me. I don't need to go to the theaters to see this. And then another doll movie, which is going to theaters, which is getting really good reviews, is Annabelle Creation. And I really liked the first Annabelle, um, so much so that I purchased it. But this Annabelle creation, which is a prequel of Annabelle, is getting some amazing reviews and, um, you know, seems like it's going to be really good. Not that, that I didn't like the first one, but uh, this one might be more, uh, it, it might reach a, a broader audience. Um, it doesn't seem like they're promoting this movie as like a killer doll movie like they did the first Annabelle. This seems just like the creation of it how annabelle becomes the doll and the trailer looks pretty scary and looks like it's got some great imagery but um as soon as that comes out i would like to talk a little bit more about that but that's all that i wanted to talk about on this very first everything horrible podcast and maybe i'll change the name i don't know leave me some comments I'm always open to constructive criticism, as you can see from other comments on the channel. And if you don't like it, then I won't do any more. But I really wanted to kind of test the waters with this first episode, see what happens, see if people will actually listen to it. And if you've made it this far, I congratulate you, friend. I really do. Um, I would like to say that at this point, if you're still <laughs> listening, um, check out Attack of the Killer podcast. Uh, I do join those guys from time to time, and uh, I haven't been on there as much as I wanted to be in the last few months, but uh, I'm looking forward to joining them a little bit more and uh yeah in this podcast i was in i just wanted to talk about some things that i want to talk about so if you haven't already hit subscribe watch the other videos and stay tuned for hopefully more podcasts thanks for listening guys